Today's video is sponsored by Squarespace. For 10% off, go to squarespace.com slash mattday and use the code mattday at checkout. So lately I haven't really been in a creative rut necessarily, but I feel like I've been in this creative boredom. Like I want to do something new or try something new. And one thing that has always been on my mind that I've yet to do is learn book binding and, you know, stitching books together by hand. It's something I've wanted to do for a long time, not to like sell or anything, but just to make for my own enjoyment, uh, just to learn a new process, to make like personal books for myself and my family of just our pictures. The closest thing to an art store that we have around here is Hobby Lobby, and they don't have anything. I called in Columbus, the nearest place that might have some stuff at their art stores, Michaels, Blix, that kind of thing. They don't have the kind of stuff I'm looking for either, so I jumped on Amazon. It seems like there's a lot of really cheap kind of entry kits in there, so I don't need anything fancy. I just want something to get started and learn the process, so that's ordered. That will be here tomorrow, but I wanted to go out and just shoot some Polaroids to make a little, you know, mini book, just a practice book. I could use old pictures or old Polaroids, but... To be honest, I need to get out of the house because uh, the weather is finally decent enough to be able to walk around comfortably. No more snow or below freezing temperatures, so I've got uh, a couple hours before I need to get back to the house to grab Forrest and then go pick Nora up from school while Molly picks Elliot up from school. Uh, squeezing in time while you have it, while you have three kids, it's, it's definitely an art form. <laughs> Okay, so I just got into town and I realize I have already made a critical error. Uh, I meant to grab a couple extra packs of Polaroid film out of the fridge on my way out of the house, and I didn't do that. So I have one pack that is freshly loaded, so it's full eight shots in the pack in the camera, but that's it. So I've got eight shots as I walk around here, limited resources, so that's my bad. But I'm not driving all the way back out to the house. There's nowhere here that sells Polaroid film. Uh, so I'm just gonna walk around and see what I can do with eight shots. Who cares? All right, so an hour and a half later, I have made it back to the truck. Didn't take me long to burn through that pack of eight shots. Um, I was shooting Polaroids kind of the way I always shoot Polaroids, which is just looking for like fun compositions and color. Uh, nice sunny day today, so we got good sharp lines for all the shadows. Uh, I just took a peek at the photos for the first time. I just immediately after shooting, I just throw it in my pocket and I look at everything later. Uh, it's better to keep the current Polaroid film shielded from light for at least, I would say, five minutes, uh, if not longer. But I just looked at everything, and I think I could have used uh, maybe a stop, two-thirds of a stop of underexposure on the exposure compensation. A couple of them look a little bit washed out. I usually try to err on the side of underexposure with Polaroids. Um, but yeah, just random photos walking around. Just looking for color that might stand out or pop on Polaroid film. Um, I did find this random like bright orange kind of coral color croc that was just on the sidewalk. And uh, right next to it there were like a bunch of little berries from the tree next to it. And uh, they were like scattered all around the ground and it kind of looked like all of the holes in the croc. The size of the berries and even the color kind of matched the croc there so I thought that was kind of fun. but. I don't really know how well that's going to translate in a Polaroid because it's kind of small details. But yeah, another day just walking around looking for nothing in particular basically. So got some photos here. I uh, might need to add to it because it's going to be a pretty small book. But uh, now we're just going to wait until uh, that book binding kit comes in and we'll take a crack at it. Molly is here with me today because I have all the supplies that came in. This super cute little silver looks Rose like, gold. yeah, looks like uh, grandma's um, Grandma makeup bag. She would have. She would have been like, don't get rid of that. <laughs> Everything in here, we have all of the supplies. I took uh, a few sheets of like mixed media paper that I had 
and just folded it in half and then put all of these holes in there where I'm going to stitch through it. The problem is I've never stitched anything a day in my life and Molly has. So Molly's going to teach me how this part works. So how much of this is actually necessary? Not much of it. I figured. Mm -hmm. See the eye? I do. You have to put the thread through the eye. Right. Okay. I assumed that. So I looked up some stuff. It's a saddle stitch. Okay. Yep. Uh, it said to go through the middle, which we're just going to assume that's the middle. It's close enough. This is all practice. I'm just trying to learn something here. So, so basically you just... In through the middle. In through the middle. And then, so this is going to be the outside of it, right? Like it's folding this way? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Should There's you... Like a standard stitch. How, uh, like as far as slack, should um, we leave some in or should you try and like pull each one tight? I, I think we can leave a little bit of slack while I'm going up this way. And then we'll want to pull it tight once I get back to the middle. Because I'm going to go all the way to the end here and then go back... And then go past it and then go back to the middle and we're going to tie the knot in the middle. Gotcha. Does that make sense? Yeah. Is the thimble supposed to go on any so here's, specific? Here's the best part about this whole situation is Matt asked me to help him with the stitching as if I like stitch often. You've done it at I would least love... one time in your life, which is one more than me. Okay. So. Do you see what I'm doing though? Like yeah. This makes sense. Okay. Yeah, of course. I Here's the thing. I got myself this whole embroidery kit. This is Crafts with Molly now, by the way. <laughs> it's a new segment. Views will be up. Oh, I'm sure. Um, I got my this whole embroidery kit and like embroidered a t-shirt for Elliot. Mm -hmm. His little Among Us oh, t-shirt yeah. and stuff. And it's so relaxing and I love it. But here's the thing. We have these three kids. <laughs> and I cannot safely just sit at the kitchen table. With needles with present. With needles present. And maybe some people have kids that are just like chill, but our kids are like this yeah, all 24 the time. Seven. And someone, someone's getting poked. Someone's yeah. losing an eye. Um, so yeah, maybe one day. I'm not wishing away their childhood. No, no one of course thinks not. that. But one day I would love to just sit and stitch because it is really fun. Mm -hmm. So now you're going to start books. here. Go back through. And basically do the stitches Fill the gaps. in between right, and right. then go all the way to the end. And then just, yeah. Yeah. The whole kit on Amazon was like $17, I think. I wasn't sure. I don't know the current prices. Say, that seems pretty cheap for, you know, for everything that came with it. In this economy? Okay, so this is going pretty. Yeah, you're going a lot quicker than I am. A little bit. Um. Okay, so definitely. So now we're to the middle. Enough thread oh whoops wait what happened here he didn't pull it all the way through there honey <laughs> but here that's okay because look <laughs> that's <laughs> we're doing that's so a, well that's a design choice i don't I get what you're saying i think it's really creative and nice <laughs> um okay so we will do this <laughs> I just wanted you to have something to do. Thank you. I don't want you to be too bored. I'm never bored. <laughs> Not in this house. Not. Never bored with you. It came with these little handy, cute little flower things. So that's to, is that what these are for? Yeah. You, you put it through there and then that slides through easier. Oh, that's handy. They're very cute too. This whole set is just... I went Precious. for the cutest set I could find. That was specifically what I was looking for. I need to take my contacts out. And put they your glasses me, on? Well, they help me see far away, but they make my um, close-up vision really bad. So I can see better close-up when my contacts are out. Is that normal? Is that normally know. how it goes? I don't know. I have really, really bad yeah. vision, so I feel like it's going to obscure something I, it's if been, I correct it. It's been like 13 years since I got LASIK. And you haven't got gone to the LASIK. doctor once, so. They fixed it. <laughs> Why should so, I have to go to the eye doctor? <laughs> <laughs> this reminds me of the uh, Parks and Rec where they're doing the telethon, and Ron is doing like the... He's like weaving he's a like chair. Weaving a, oh yeah, he's doing like wicker. Yeah, and he's furniture. like, you go under <laughs> and then over. 
And then you guessed it, under. <laughs> Do you want to go back through? Yep, just like before. Okay, I'm going to end on this. <laughs> yeah, I, um, I've wanted to do this for a long time. I just finally was like, all right, I need to do something. And I also thought it would be fun to make a video. Yeah, I'm not necessarily worried about this being like a tutorial. I just thought it would be fun. <laughs> all right. I mean, you know. Look, I think this... For a first try. The first try. They're a little loosey-goosey but like i feel like you have to that's have a little fun. bit of space yeah and i feel like that that adds to it i'm not looking for perfection for the first time here we did a craft together we did do a craft together so cute is this supposed to be on the inside or outside, on the inside. Did, that's on the inside okay and so now i know we flipped it around so much couldn't i couldn't tell. really tell yeah. but that's pretty damn good it's a very small book because i just wanted to try and practice I really didn't need to go out and shoot photos for this, but it's what I had in mind. It'd be fun to make things like this just for like photos that we take with the kids That's what and I was like thinking. having Elliot, Elliot, would be super yeah, about it. Elliot <clears throat> and Nora and Forrest, you know, he can take a crayon and just kind of jab at it. But like having them actually add to the paper yeah. itself, mm -hmm. whether it be drawings or I mean, in a way, you could, like, scrapbook little yeah. stuff like this and, like, tape in any kind of, like, little ephemera, like, little, you know what I mean? That'd be fun. I think you should go through your scrapbook that your mom made you. <laughs> so, I, <think. laughs> I am uh, I am working on a video showing this whole room and, like, mm -hmm. talking about this room being my mom's, like, craft scrapbooking quilting room. Yeah. Um, and it's funny thinking about that, like working on like books in here, like scrapbook or photo books, mm -hmm. her working on scrapbooks in here with pictures. Um, but this kind of has that feel yeah. of like cutting little things out, gluing them in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Before we wrap this video up, I'm going to take a second to thank our sponsor today, Squarespace. When I first launched my website, mattdayphoto.com, around 10 years ago, I decided to use Squarespace to do that, not only because it's super easy to use, but it has everything you need in one place. You browse through all of their templates to choose from, you find one that you like, and then you just start customizing it yourself. I share work from personal projects using their gallery pages. I have a sign-up form for my email newsletter where I get to share things and update all of you each month. I sell my prints, zines, photo books, everything directly through the online store, which is built into the website. All of these things, everything I do, it's all in one place thanks to Squarespace. If you feel like it might be overwhelming or just too much for you to do yourself, they have 24-7 customer service that are always available. I've used them myself plenty of times. If I can do all of this stuff entirely by myself, I'm sure you can do it too. You can try it out for yourself with a free trial at squarespace.com, but when you're ready to launch the website, go to squarespace.com slash mattday and use the code mattday at checkout. That's going to save you 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. This was a fun little exercise that I wasn't planning to do. It was just something like I had the idea, I thought it would be fun to share, and I just kind of did all of this over a couple days on a whim. But I'm glad I did because this was a fun experiment. This small, simple, random collection of Polaroids that are just unrelated and just kind of thrown together. Uh, this object itself isn't necessarily anything special, but the exercise and the fact that I just did it is what makes it special to me. Uh, because this is just something I thought would be fun to try out on a whim. And now it's got my mind going, you know, crazy. And I'm thinking of all the different ideas, things that I'd love to make, uh, in this style, just little personal family books where I you know, I include photos, notes, uh, gluing in like tickets and just any little details, things that kind of add to the whole story, uh, just little personal family scrapbooks in a way. I'd also love to learn, you know, making a bigger book, something where it's a lot thicker, where you're actually, you know, binding the spine by glue and building a cover and everything. Uh, something like that would also be a lot of fun. I'd love to learn that. So if I do, I will definitely share that in a video as well if you guys like this one. But this was just a fun little exercise. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions at all or recommendations, if there are resources you have that you'd like to share when it comes to making books like this by hand, leave me 
in the comments down below. I am definitely wanting to learn more. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, but that's all for today. Thank you guys for watching. I love you guys. I'll see you soon. Arts and crafts with Molly. Yeah. Bye. <laughs>